Hey there, YouTube friends. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody had a great New Year's Eve celebration. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready for the first reaction video of 2023. I don't know what I'm about to watch, but I'm super excited. So let's see how this goes. I want to get a gun. <laughs> I do. I really do. I never had that feeling before until I moved out to Los Angeles. This city just messes with your mind, you know? It's overpopulated. Technically doesn't have a water supply. Right? Okay. The dollar's crashing. <laughs> Shit keeps you up at night. You're just sick of What am I doing when the zombies come? Eating <laughs> <laughs> up on shit. Get some powdered food. Plant some zucchini. Get a windmill. Right? And that's all well and good. But if you don't know how to fight, all you're doing is gathering supplies for the toughest guy in the block. He's not wrong. Right? <laughs> what am I going to do? Some dude turns me upside down, starts shaking the gold coins out of my pockets. <laughs> what are you, a leprechaun? I get a gun. <laughs> so I'm on the road, right? I'm in Reno. Great gun town. So I go down to that little gun store, right? Come walking in, there's some redneck there. I'm like, hey, man, I want to get a gun. He's like, I hear you. What you looking for? What you want? Mossberg? Over under a 357 Magnum, right? Such rattling off all that gibberish, <laughs> right? I don't know shit. I'm trying to play it off. I feel like a bitch because I don't know anything about guns. <laughs> like, what do I do here? <laughs> ah, hell, well, I go, I'm going to go with honesty. I go, look, dude, I don't know anything about guns. They terrify me, but I'm worried about the zombies. <laughs> all right? It was just like, you need a shotgun. I don't know about that. Gun, I don't man. know. It's got a good spread. It's easy to load, doesn't have a lot of working parts, got a good spread. He kept saying that. It's got a good spread. I'm like, what does that mean? He goes, well, it means you ain't got to be that accurate. You got a good spread. The further away you are, the more shit you hit. You got a good spread. In fact, you got a problem over here. You ain't even got to look. You just turn. Wow, that's it. Okay, yeah, he's not wrong with that. Anything that was even remotely a problem ain't there anymore. Trust me. And then these people here, they saw what you just did here. You ain't got a problem here either. Many of the taken care of right there. One shot. People over. Wow, that's it. It's got a good spread. <laughs> so I'm like laughing my ass off. I'm like, dude, look, I just want to shoot the guy. I don't have to do a bunch of drywall work, you know? Reframe my diploma. Get my parakeet another friend, you know? I just want to shoot the guy. So I'm like, you know, how about, how about one of these pistols? So he does like that classic, like that redneck trailing off thing. Like, ah, right, you want a pistol? Go get a pistol. <laughs> what do I know? I've just been here 20 years. <laughs> get a shiny one, right? So I was like, what's wrong with getting a pistol? He goes, I'll tell you what, buddy. Because life, life ain't a movie. You feel me? I'm like, no. Can you please stop speaking in these backwards riddles? <laughs> Can you just say what you're saying? I told you I don't know shit about guns. Come on, do me solid here. What he goes, well, look, you ever watch a movie? Guy go blah, blah, blah. He, he kills three people. Real life, man, you miss. You miss all the fucking time. Oh, that's, that's kind of true. Stairs, man. You might as well, you're empty. You might as well just be standing there with a big stapler in your hand. <laughs> then what you gonna do? I was like, well, fuck it. Let's get the shotgun. He's all ready to box the thing up, and then I'm like, wait a minute. I live with my girl. I can't just show up with a shotgun, right? That's not some shit you can just come home with. If I found this stool on the side of the road, I can come home with this. Look at it. We can, we can finish it. We can carve our initials in. You know, a good time, right? I can't just show up with a shotgun. Hey, I got it for us, right? One barrel for you, one for me. No. So she kiboshes the whole thing. Till the other night, somebody broke into our car, sitting in the driveway. Starts fucking with her head, right? So she starts reading up on guns, you know? She's reading too much, because now she wants to get one, but she's just like, well, I heard you gotta keep the bullets in the safe, keep the stock in the garage. And, it's, and then what? Then what, I run around the house and assemble it? with some <laughs> dude's chasing me with an ax? You know, are you even putting this thing through, sweetheart? Just running around, where's, where's the scope? It's in the living room, he's in the living room! <laughs> Uh, this thing. I want that fucking thing loaded right on the bedroom wall, right there. I'll put that thing up my jam jam sleeves, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> There's no other 
the point. That's funny though, when you, when you talk about getting a gun, you know, people like they either totally for it or completely against it. You know, they either go nuts and start screaming, right? Or they start throwing out those stats. You know, actually you, you increase your chances of getting shot by 80% the second you get a gun in the house. <laughs> Really? What, because I'm going to load it and shower with it? Like, eh, eh, eh. The fuck? I know it's dangerous. You get a pool in your backyard, you immediately increase your odds of drowning in your backyard, right? That's true. You I mean, do that it, it happens. You step on a rake, in you go. <laughs> no, I'm telling you. I don't buy any of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was hilarious. Bill Burr is always very entertaining. He takes some of the hardest topics and he turns them into something different that it's just like an easy conversation to have, especially with anybody, because he's right. Gun safety is a very big thing and you got people who are really for it and really against it. Now, for me, I'm kind of in the middle just on a regular basis, but when you're talking about the zombie apocalypse, you gotta be prepared. I mean... They talk about all the stuff of how you're supposed to prepare, like with your food and stuff, but nobody talks about how you're actually going to protect yourself. And he brought up some really good points. I mean, I always thought that the best thing to have would be a, a little pistol that you could put a new clip in and everything, you know, after you've shot off all the bullets. But in reality, it would take forever to reload those. So I'm actually now pro shotgun when it comes to the whole zombie apocalypse thing. But uh, either way, it was very entertaining. I love his energy on stage and it just really works. On although I really enjoyed this video. Hopefully you did too. If you did, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. Also make sure to hit that little notification button. That way you guys know when I drop my next video. And if you get the chance, check out my Twitch streams on Wednesdays and Fridays. Just check my page for the times. Well, thanks for joining me here today, everybody. Stay spicy, my friends.